Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am bringing you a little room transformation, a little room tidying, just a very like room orientated video. Um, basically, as you can sort of see, I've switched my room around quite a bit and I've got some new products. I've got rid of some old stuff. So yeah, I'm just really excited for this video. I originally didn't film an intro as I was hoping that my eye might have healed by the time that I needed to film an intro for this video. But unfortunately not, my eye is a lot better. Um, so when we go back into the video, my eye will look a lot worse because it has been quite a few days now since I started filming this video. So please just excuse that and excuse how awful I look throughout the video. I've really not been feeling the best these past two weeks and especially with my eye, it's just so ugly and noticeable. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can all get past that. Um, yeah, I literally, <laughs> I hated filming with my eye looking like that. But here we are anyway. I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. If you do like these types of videos and you want to see more, because I definitely haven't finished doing everything in my room that I want to do, um, then let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up down below so that I know that you enjoy these types of videos. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, I know you just want to get into the video. So I'm going to start rambling and let's just get into it. Okay, so this is the start of this video, a little transformation. I don't really know what I'm going to call this video, to be honest. Um, basically, we're just going to sort my room out. Everything from, like, moving it around to sorting my desk out, which is extremely messy. And just basically, just like a general clean-up. I find these videos very therapeutic to watch, especially just on an evening. I feel like they're a good video to just stick on in the background um, whilst you're doing something. So yeah, I'm just going to be sorting my room out. It's needed a big sort out for a long while now. Um, so that is what we're going to do. This might have to be a two-part video, maybe even three, because there's just so much that I've got planned to do with my room that I don't think it's all going to fit in one video without being about four hours long. Um, so yeah, but the first thing I'm going to do is actually just tidy up around my room because I will insert a before clip of my room and yes I am extremely ashamed of how messy my room is currently. In my defence I have actually been ill for the past week slash two weeks so I've really had no energy or motivation to get up and get things done and I was pretty much just feeling sorry for myself for the past two weeks. I don't know if you guys can tell now but I actually have a really badly swollen eye. I'm still quite like ill. It's nothing COVID related, so don't you worry. Um, but yeah, I had an infection under my arms. I now have an infection in my eye and um, I don't know what's going on with my jaw yet because I was gonna ring my doctor today, but I thought I'll give it another day because I've literally rang them nearly every day because something new pops up every day. So I thought I would leave it another day before I ring them and find out what the hell is going on my jaw and ear area. I feel like it could be linked and all be connected because, you know, your eyes, nose, mouth, all that some sort of stuff is connected and then you've got glands in your armpits. So I feel like it's just all one big thing, but it's just coming up all over. So yeah, that's brilliant. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is actually put my clothes away as my clothes are just in a little pile over there. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and like do my desk and things like that. I really want to sort my wardrobe out and do like a wardrobe decluttering video um, because I'm thinking about getting another pearl in my wardrobe and taking the shelf out so I've got like a bit more storage because that's the only thing with my wardrobe it's built in so it's not very big at all um, so it doesn't fit a lot of stuff in which is why I have a lot of drawers in my room as well as you will have seen um, so yes yeah, so that's maybe going to be in another video so do let me know if you want to see that because I do obviously want to film it um, but yeah I feel like we should just crack on and get started and put my clothes away. Does anybody else absolutely hate putting clothes away? Because that is me. This is why I leave it for so long because I just hate putting them away.
So the last bit of clothing that I actually have to put away is actually my bikinis. Now, I actually store my bikinis in a specific way so that then I can find them easier and they stay together. So basically, I'll just show you. My drawer is really jam full. I really need to sort out my bikinis and decide which ones I don't want to wear anymore and I don't want to keep. But basically, I just keep each bikini in a Ziploc bag because that way I'm not having to rummage through and find the matching like bikini top to the bikini bottom. It's already just in one bag, um, plain and simple. So now I just have loads of these bags just then in one drawer. So this is what it looks like. Obviously it's really jam packed, but like literally everything is just so easy to get to and I just know what everything is. Um, I also started putting them in the one below as well because like I said, that one gets a bit full. So we've just got like empty like zaffle bags or like I say I just use some little food bags so these ones are just from Tesco's they were like two pounds I'm actually gonna have to pick up some more of these but yeah I just thought I'd share that little tip because I don't know about you guys but my bikini and like swimwear drawer just gets so out of hand so easily so I just found that this hack just really helps because then I you know, just pull the bag out and then it's all there all together and yeah it's pretty perfect really now Next thing I want to do is actually move my room around a little bit. I really am thinking about moving my bed from here to this back wall. You guys know me, I absolutely love moving my room around and I just get bored so easily. But I've never actually had my bed on that wall. Um, so what I'm thinking is I put my bed on that wall and then I put these two drawers back over here where they used to be and then move my desk like either to here or there um but the only thing is i can't do it on my own because my bed is extremely heavy i am actually supposed to be getting a new bed um i don't know when that's gonna come or whatever but i am supposed to be getting a new bed because if you did not know i did break my bed within five weeks of having it um but yeah so i'm thinking about moving it over there um, and I also have some new Desenio prints which I want to put up as well um, but I'm sort of undecided where I want it to be because obviously if I am going to keep my bed here then I just need to take these ones down, move the hooks up and everything and like the nails and then put the new prints on there but if not then the new prints will be going on this wall. Okay so my mum's come up to help me move the bed i just quickly hoovered um so that then Sorry, when just walking up the stairs. <laughs> so then when we move the bed obviously it's nice and clean oh, underneath oh my <laughs> i can't do it should we maybe pull it from the bottom oh my god i can't do it Oh my god. Okay, we're not moving the bed. Oh, we could just, why don't we just push it from that? Point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think of me, it's like, um, what is it? What are their names? Victor Factor. No, I was going to say, to me, to you, to me. What? Chuckle Brothers. Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> yes. Where's your right there? You've lost it. No, I haven't. <laughs> 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 I don't even know they'll be able to see us. Wait, at least it's moved. Mm, you're doing it. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh. Right. Yeah, you better like it here, yeah? because. You've never seen anyone move a bed around like this before. Right, okay, so as you can see, we've moved the bed. The bed is in the new position. I've never had it there before, so this is really exciting. And now I'm going to tackle tidying the rest of my room. Honey, this is a problem. Like, there's just eyelashes randomly placed. Like, literally just crap everywhere. gonna die so i'll have to wait till it's charged but i'm gonna carry on cleaning all this up and yeah i'll obviously be back when i can
Okay, so as you can see, my desk is now cleared. Um, I've put some stuff away. Some stuff I've just moved whilst I actually go ahead and move my desk over here. Right, I don't know where that last little clip cut off. But yeah, I might end up just having to put it in the spare room and then maybe doing my makeup just in a different place. Because the annoying thing is, is it doesn't fit in there. Um, so... Yeah, unless I oh, unless I get a new desk, it's not gonna fit in there. So I don't really know what to do. Okay, so I've just moved the drawers. I'm gonna move these drawers into the spare room, I think, because they just literally have makeup in that I haven't opened yet or like used yet, um, and just like all new stuff basically. So I might just move that into the spare room, um, because I'm eventually gonna get rid of them drawers. So, yeah, so I might just go ahead and do that right now. Um, but I don't know when I'll be back because I'm going to try and crack on as much of this as I can. Because like I said, I don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it's been some time and I've moved everything and tied everything. And I actually really like how it looks. Like, it's really grown on me. Um, I'm just unsure what I'm going to do with my new print. So, um, that will obviously be coming up very Okay, late. so I forgot to mention whilst recording, but this part of the video is actually kindly sponsored by Desenio. You guys know I absolutely love Desenio and their products. I've had some of their prints on my walls for the longest time now. And it was about time that I got some new prints and I was really wanting to get some new prints as well. Something that I actually you think is super sweet and really cute about Dizinho is how it came about so it was actually built on a love story but a Swedish couple had just moved into their new house and basically they had too much of an echo in their house so they decided to put some prints up on the wall to counteract the echo and that was how Dizinho was made which I think is super super sweet because of their love story there are so many different designs and prints on their website as they've obviously designed everything for different areas of the house what I love about Dizinho as well is how they actually have a little wall gallery option on their website so you can basically put in the prints that you are fancy and buy it and then you can see how they look on your walls and they also give you different wall layout ideas and yeah I just think this is a really cool feature for someone who can't quite picture something in their head and they have to actually see it visually and um, as you will see in the next clip I'm gonna go through the prints that I picked up but yeah I just thought that was really really sweet and really really cool when I found out about it so I actually decided to pick up five different prints even though I've only got three frames and the reason I picked up five is because I couldn't choose between all five so I just thought I'll just get them all because I can always switch it out so first up we've got this one next up we have this one which I absolutely love we got this one this one says not nice on it and obviously I wanted it like this with another print next to it next I got this one and the reason I got this one was because if you remember the little house one at the beginning my second idea was to have that on the outside then have this in the middle and then have this one because both of this one and the house one have a lot of white in the background so they sort of balanced each other out on either side if they were to be either side then finally i picked up this one and this one i felt like was the most similar to the one with the high heels in terms of the colors okay so i've just rested the three prints that i think i'm going to put up on the wall i've got the reflection currently from the window so just got this one then we've got the one that says not nice and then the heels one i need to get some more greenery in my room so that the green in the picture ties in a little bit more because at the moment i've literally got this plant and this plant only um so i'm definitely gonna get some more greenery to go in but yeah these are obviously actually gonna go up on the wall okay so it's a few days later because the day that i originally was gonna come up on this i really really didn't feel that well so i just decided to have the day off and then film it another day as you can see my eye is slowly getting a little bit better i feel more like myself feel a lot more healthier and um, so please do just ignore how my eye looks i'm really really frustrated that it had to come at this moment in time whilst i'm having this video but i'm now gonna go ahead and put my prints up on my wall have no fear but the builder is here <laughs> right so i've got all my supplies that i need to put my pictures on the wall 
got my three nails. I've got a spirit level so we can make sure that it's nice and straight. Um, we've got a hammer and then I also have a pencil because I'm going to do a line where the um, pictures are going to go so they're all on the same level. Whilst I'm putting up these frames, I thought I'd let you guys know that I do actually have a discount code. So if you guys want to save some money, you can use the code Jasmine CLO to get some money off. The discount code is valid until midnight on the 27th of July, but the code does not apply on frames, hand-picked or personalised prints. But this code will get you 10% off everything, including prints in big summer sale. So yeah, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below and you can get yours. So finally got the pictures up, um, they are straight, I feel like it doesn't look straight, maybe it's because I'm just stood on a wonk, but this is what they look like, it's really hard to see because obviously I've got my curtains open, but this is what it looks like, I'm super happy, they look so nice, um, not nice, <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love it and it was definitely a good change and I really like how it's like over my bed as well and it's not drooping behind my bed like it was previously and then as you can see here now we've got the blank wall with just my mirror on, hi, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, so to start the room tour, first off, obviously, we open my door and this is the view that you can see. So across there, I have my wardrobe, which is obviously built in. And then just on the side here, I've got some medals from when I used to do gymnastics, majorettes, all that sort of fun stuff. And then you come into my room. I've kept my curtains closed so that you can actually see more of what's going on in the room. Because if I kept them open, it would just be like a backlight. Um, but yeah, this is what my room looks like. So I'll start with the back of the door. On the back of the door, I just have all of my dressing gowns, my coats, bags and things like that. This jacket I actually get asked about a lot. This jacket is actually from a vintage store on Depop. So I don't think you can get it anymore. Um, but I will link the vintage store in the description box down below so then if you want to get something similar you should be able to get something similar from them because they do loads of different styles but I don't think you'll be able to get that exact one so then we come round and I just have some fairy lights so these fairy lights I've literally had for years and they've never given me any problems I've literally had them at least four years and I just got them from Amazon this is just what they look like they're just little string lights as you can see they're a little bit long so they do just go straight to my floor but that doesn't really bother me and then coming round we have my desk so my desk is from Ikea um, I got it a while ago, so I don't know what the style is. If I can find it, I will link it in the description box down below. I also have my chair, which is from Ikea as well. And whilst we're on my desk, I just got a few things here. So this is a little book that I've been reading that has sent me. I just have my car manual um, and documents there because I just got a new car. And then this is just some PR stuff that I'm yet to open. Next up, we've got my IKEA skirt reports. I'm sure you guys remember these from back in the day, old school YouTube. I still use them. They keep all of my makeup brushes in. Um, so they're just really handy and they obviously look really nice and they just fit there nicely. They don't take up too much room. Um, this one's kind of got like a little bit of everything in it. It's got like tablets, it's got tweezers, beauty blenders, pens. Like this one's literally like filled with everything and then these ones are like my main brushes that I use near enough every day eye brushes and then some other face brushes then as we come round I actually currently have two mirrors one of them is actually Sophie's so that wouldn't usually be there I've got my tripod which I was literally just using a minute ago I've got my blue yeti mic which is the mic that I use to record all of my covers 
I've got a bottle of gin <laughs> just sitting there. Uh, then I've got my speaker and just this little chair that I got for Christmas from like my nana. Um, and then also here I have my little makeup bag full of stuff that I obviously use like day to day. Um, and then I've just got my computer here. So this is what my desk area looks like. Then we come around and I have this little mirror on my wall, which is from Wayfair, I think. I actually got it for Christmas from Sophie um, because I've got a sink in my room. I'm not gonna show you the sink because it's pretty messy. I haven't got around sorting that out yet. Then as we come around, I just have this little squiggly mirror here, which which um, I think it's from Ikea as well. I've literally had this mirror since I was probably like eight years old. Um, I've literally had it forever. So yeah, I just have that little propped up like for when I'm getting ready. Just another little extra mirror. And then we have these sets of drawers. So these are all from Ikea. They're all the same make. They're all in the mom collection. I think I said that right. Um, but these ones are just the high ones. So there's seven drawers on this and then the top bit actually lifts up as well and there's a mirror inside like the top bit here. Um, and then these are just the three drawers and then that one's obviously the same as that one. I then also have my TV on there. My TV is just a Hisense one. I got it from Amazon um, in case you're wondering. And it is a 50 inch, so it's pretty big. Um, but obviously it's quite far away from my bed now, so it doesn't seem that big to me anymore. Um, then on here I just have some perfumes and my little Polaroid camera. And then I also just keep like my other jewellery that I don't necessarily wear day to day. As you can see, I've got so many perfumes and they actually are all really, really running low. But it's one of them things I don't want to use it all up straight away. So I try and save it as much as I can. But these are actually a little bit out of line. So yeah, so that's just my perfume and everything. Then we come over to this side. And again, I've just got some more perfumes along the back. I've just got a little four set of the Huda Beauty perfumes. Then I have my big camera, which is just resting here. My little camera does rest on here as well, which is the one that I'm using currently when I'm obviously not using it. And then I just have this little incense stick thing um, from NYX, and that is in vanilla and cocoa bean. Literally smells so good. Um, but then we come around to here, and I have my YouTube plaque, literally my pride and joy, my best achievement um, that I've ever had i'm pretty sure um but yeah so that just sits there on its own little space little star of the show then we come around and i've got my little plant which you guys will have seen me move over here and i also now have a fan because it is getting so damn hot here in the uk now on an evening or i don't know if it's just me and just where we live but honestly i cannot sleep without a fan now like i literally get too too hot so yeah so that's just there that's just gray and then yeah this plan is actually from Ikea and how I'm surprised it's not dead like you do not understand I've had this plan literally four years and it's still alive like I really thought it'd be dead um, but then we come around and as you can see I've got my big mirror on the wall I actually haven't had chance to paint my wall yet so if you can see little lines that is from my previous frames as you will have seen in the video so yeah I haven't actually had chance to get some paint to paint that yet so we'll just pretend that that's painted but yeah my mirror is just from Ikea again I get questions about this all the time and um, because of how big it is and yeah I'm pretty sure it was like 30 pounds or something really really cheap and um, so yeah I absolutely love that I do think they don't do the exact same one anymore I think it is slightly a little bit different but Nevertheless, it still looks super cute. And then we're back around to, of course, my little wardrobe. And I just have like a box full of random things here that I still need to sort out. Um, and then I've just got a big teddy that is leaning over there. And then I've got my airport like neck pillow. And then we get to my bed. So obviously we've got the new prints above the wall. It's really hard for you to see them because it is daytime. Um, so obviously we've got the reflection from the window. My bed is actually from 123 Furniture in case any of you were wondering. Um, however, I did break this. So like I mentioned earlier on in the video, I should hopefully be getting a new bed soon. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I just have a little jay pillow on that I got for Christmas. I've got this little teddy bear, like fluffy blanket, which I got from Dunelm, I'm pretty sure. I've got a V pillow, which I got from Very, which I think was literally like £10. Um, then on the side here, I actually have my little sleeping mask. This is a sleep mask that has like cupped like eyelid space so that obviously you don't like ruin 
your eyelash extensions or anything like that and you don't irritate your eyes um so yeah so that's just from smug in case any of you are wondering but then we have of course the prints which are now the main star of the show so i absolutely love these and i think they look so sick together and i really do feel like they like fit so perfectly especially because i have pink on my bed and like i've got black around my room i've got white around my room and then obviously we've got the hints of green as well because of like the plants and everything i do want to get some more plants but yeah i absolutely love how my room looks at the minute of the video and i really hope you guys did enjoy it as you can see the room was completely transformed i literally can't believe how much of a difference it's made like i actually love my room like this now and i don't know how long it's gonna last because i am a person who gets bored very very easy and i always switch my room around but i feel like this could stick for a good while and um, so yeah do let me know what you guys think of the room in the comment section down below and also don't forget to check out Desenio and um, the links will be in the description box down below as well as some of the other things that I did mention throughout the video but yeah like I said that is everything and I will see you very very soon with another video bye